Hey everyone, before getting into the video, we wanted to give a quick shout out to Game Time Collectibles here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. They're your one stop shop for any TCG need, whether it's your booster packs or booster boxes, or any TCG supplies like sleeves or deck boxes. They're your one stop shop. And again, they're going to be carrying tons of Lorcana and they're going to be having lots of tournaments, so be sure to check them out. So we're going to put the link to their store down in the description below as well as up on the screen. And if you use the code INSTINCTCG at checkout, you save 5%. They're going to be hosting lots of Disney Oricana events that we are very excited for. And you can check their website for more details. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And here we've got another Pixelborn gameplay episode. This time I'll be using Steel Amethyst or the Jafar deck. Um, so right here on the left hand side, you'll be able to see what I'm using all the way to the bottom. And yeah, you can pause to take a look at the deck list and let's get into some gameplay. Looks like we found our first matchup and it's Sapphire Amethyst. All right, so we get to go first here. Huh, no turn one play. I want to keep the Mata Mim. I only need one Jafar. Don't need the Tink. Don't need two friends on the other side. Don't think I need the Smash right now either. Friends I'd rather draw on two. I don't need two of them. So I might just get rid of these four cards in hopes of getting a one drop. Oh, there we go. Since I'm going first, I think I'm going to ink the Captain Hook and play the Robin Hood and pass. Just in case I draw onto the shift one, there is still a chance. Um, don't think I'm going to need this at this very point in time. I don't want a quest. That is fine. They're inking a bell. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, then along came Zeus. Um, no point in having the Madame Mim right now. Just because there's nothing for me to rush into at the moment. Um, but I could also use her next turn to sing friends on the other side if I need to. So what I might do... I don't really need the Robin Hood right now since I'm going the Jafar route. I think I'm just gonna quest with Robin Hood. Um... Do I want? What do I want to play? I'm gonna keep Jafar non exerted. I think I'm just gonna ink the Madame Mim to be honest. To be able to draw the card. And pass. Oh, timer's going down. Yzma's probably gonna get placed into the ink wall next turn. Yeah, if that was a given. Jafar and pass. Card of Tafiti. I'm assuming they're going to quest there. This is actually the first time I've used this deck. Um, okay, I don't really need that, so I'm going to ink that Jafar. 
Which one do I want to shift on? Shift on that one. And then sing a whole new world, which definitely was a greater advantage to me since they had a full hand. Oh, and they conceded. <laughs> so in that case, let's hop into another match. All right, so this time we're facing Emerald Steel. Going first. All right, I'm actually quite happy with my hand. Turn one, turn two, three, four. I do like the curve here, so I am going to stick with this. And I think I might actually be inking this Jafar. Just because I might rather have play the blue fairy. Because that's between these two. I'm playing Emerald Steel. This one does have... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back on that and ink the blue fairy to play Robin Hood. And I'll probably play this next turn instead. Just because I might need Jafar's attack and stronger defense, considering I'm playing Steel. Robin Hood might not last very long, though. Luckily, I will be able to shift turn three, hopefully. Unless they take it out before then. Captain Hook comes out. Alright, another Robin Hood, which we don't need. I'll play Jafar and then pass. What are they going to do now? Next turn. Probably shift the Robin Hood. Well, depending if they allow me to shift the Robin Hood, that is. Currently looking through their hand. Like I mentioned in the other Pixel Born videos, let us know in the comments down below um, what decks you want to see us try out. We are still going to be doing in person matches, so don't you worry about that. It's just a matter of figuring out when that will be. Morph coming in. Okay. That will definitely go there. And then... Shift. I don't really want to waste it. By questing. Because he'll probably just shift. And then use Captain Hook to finish taking me out. So I'm just going to hold off and play more... Conservative and cautious. There it goes, Bucky into the inkwell. Yep, there goes the beast shift. And they're still not gonna quest. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, hmm, do I want to ink the Jafar? The attack could come in handy. I might actually even have to ink the Tinkerbell, really. Just because they do have some card advantage over me. I could sing it with Robin Hood, and they'd have to throw both of them, but I have a feeling there's some songs in their hand. So you know what, I'm gonna... Jafar. And just draw two cards. To 
see what I can do here. Um, then I could play this next turn on their beast. They will draw two cards first, unless. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of their beast right now. And then quest with Jafar, and they could choose if they wanna take one of them out. Because they might be worried about a shift on this Jafar. I do have another Robin Hood to play now as well. Taking a look at the Robin Hood, I'm probably going to throw Captain Hook into it. Oh, Strength of a Raging Fire. And putting Bucky out. Okay. Are they going to do three damage onto her? Alright, that's fine. And that's their turn. Okay. Um, I think probably fine in King of Madam Mim. Or I could play another Robin Hood. And then I'll just quest again, because it doesn't... They're at the moment not going to be able to take out either of these. Unless, other than with a song, of course. I have a feeling an Ursula might come out and get rid of the whole new world. They've got four cards in hand, now three. I've got two. What are they gonna play? Then along came Zeus. That's fine. I'm assuming that's gonna be their turn, because they only have one ink left to spare unless they play a one cost. Yep, okay. And I'm gonna ink, ba boom and play tank and from there i can just quest with everything and pass turn let's see what they're gonna do here again they do have slight hand advantage over me but not much it's a one versus two now and I've got a full board, and they're also not playing Ruby, so no be prepared threat. So it'll be individual songs. And grab your sword if they if they are running that in their deck. That's fine. I might have to sing a whole new world with one of these next turn, even without the Jafar. Just so that I can get a full hand. Okay. Hopefully I can draw into a Jafar right now. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I asked for it. No, I think I'm definitely going to sing A Whole New World with Robin Hood. Wow, I still don't draw into the big one. That's crazy. <laughs> um, in that case, I'm just going to flood the board, to be honest. Put a Captain Hook in there. Put a Robin Hood, because I do have another A Whole New World. 
and then pass. Then I have a grab your sword and that's fine. It just puts me in a better um, position, lethal position. Means they're gonna have to do something to take out my board. What's it gonna be? And they just conceded. So yeah, uh, make sure to please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you at the next video.